Hi again everyone, we're back and today I'm joined by Michele Pistis, our sales executive for the Kent region. Today we'll be talking about the Decuniano de Barbi estate and their interpretations of classic red and white or Vieto wines and how they're taking the UK and US markets by storm. Welcome Michele. It's a pleasure Nick and welcome everybody watching online. As uh, Nick said, uh, uh, today we've got a great example of both red and white wines produced in the Orvieto region by the Cugnano de Barbi. This producer is establishing himself uh, as one of the most prestigious in the region, thanks mainly to the quality of their wine. True to say, but the clean design of the bottle also gives an essence of the quality of the wine within. However, it can't be an easy task re-establishing old Italian classics that had over time become subject to being labelled as somewhat out of fashion. Orvieto has uh, got one of the longest history in winemaking, dating back to the Etruscan times, uh, when uh, w the wines were produced to be sweet, okay, white and sweet. Then, uh, throughout the 60s and the 70s, the production was uh, uh, mainly bulk, keeping quality and prices very low. It's not a com an uncommon feature, but fortunately for us wine lovers, we have producers dedicated to high quality products. De Cognano de Barbi being one of those. And the estate was actually founded in 1212 AD. Then it was acquired in 1973 by Claudio Barbi, who still runs it today. Absolutely, yes. Uh, uh, Claudio and his son uh, Enzo have been uh, very successful in the production of the wines, and uh, they are uh, constantly awarded world wine. The demand for both Bianco and in Rosso across the US and UK market increased rapidly. They also incorporate sustainability, uh, tend not to use uh, chemicals, pesticides uh, in the vineyard, keeping the treatments very, very low. Correct. Sustainable vineyards do tend to produce high quality products and De Cugnano de Barbi are great ambassadors uh, to this production method. Recent UK wine trends also show a rapid increase in the requests of quality red and white Orvieto wines. And this Il Bianco the Barbie that we're tasting today has got to be one of the best out there. Absolutely. I mean, uh, the Il Bianco and Il Rosa are some of the best examples uh, of uh, wines produced in the Orvieto area. Uh, needless to say that the, their entry line, uh, Villa Barbie, both Bianco and Rosa, are equally as good. This Il Bianco is fresh, is poised, elegant, has an almond finish and alcoholic persistence, surely these will make great daily tipples. Definitely. I mean, this wine are amongst my favorites in, 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 um, in our list. The, um, the Il Bianco is an Orvieto Classico Superiore DOC. It's only produced in the best vintage uh, from uh, uh, typical grapes uh, of the region, Grecchetto, uh, Vermentino, Procanico, and, and just 10% of Chardonnay. All the uh, grapes are, vinif are vinified separately, and 10% uh, of the Chardonnay goes through barrel fermentation. Uh, after that, they are assembled, uh, carefully assembled, and uh, uh, spend six months in vat, uh, plus another six months uh, in bottle before being realized in the market. And what about the, okay. the lands of De Cugnano de Barbi's estate? How do they differ from the rest of the region? The lands definitely plays an important role on the quality of these wines. Uh, it used to be uh, an ocean floor uh, dating back three to five million years ago. Uh, the soil is very uh, sandy and clay, very rich in fossils and mineral, which give these wines uh, the unique flavor. That's an amazing fact. When you think about their 
optimal altitude of 320 meters, as well as the superb exposure the vineyards get. Year upon year, you're pretty much guaranteed a high quality product. That's correct. This is partly why the interest for uh, uh, the Cognano dei Barbi wines in particular is rising uh, rapidly. I mean, we've spoken about uh, these wines being affordably priced. This range by De Cognano dei Barbi, what would it retail at in the UK today? The top line of uh, Il Bianco and Il Rosso, they retail more or less about 25 pounds per bottle, whilst their entry level, uh, both white and red, uh, talking about 17 to 20 pounds a bottle. Not bad at all. Yes. It's, it's yes. quite affordable. When you consider the Il Bianco and Il Rosso as uh, the, the top of their category, um, and the Villa Barbi being equally as enjoyable, you can't go wrong. No, absolutely. Any time, any place, uh, pretty much with any dish. <laughs> Definitely a producer that shouldn't be missed. That's the end of today's episode. Thank you again to Michele for diving into this world of Decuniano de Barbie and their fabulous wines. <sighs> what can I say? They're remarkable and their wines leaving you wanting more with every sip. They, that's all I can say. Yeah, all, yeah. In next month's episode, join us for a visit to Mount Etna, the, the picturesque Mount Etna. And in the form of Terra Constantino's red, rosé and white, we'll find out just how deep the vines can actually grow. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Good.